Hey guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs. And I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it. I'm giving you a Tempest Keep walkthrough because I finally figured out how to do it by myself. Thank you for the people who gave comments um, under, I think it was my Kara video, on uh, how to solo it. Um, I don't know if this applies to all classes. I will confidently say that this, the way that I'm going to run the last boss applies to um, casters for sure. Um, but aside from that, uh, I really, I, you guys know I can't stand playing melee DPS, so I'm really not the person to uh, talk to about doing that. But anyway, so how do you get there? You fly to, probably should have, shouldn't have darted out before I did that, that's okay. Okay, so how do we get there? We fly to Netherstorm, and you want to go to the Cosmo Wrench area, so here's Outland, fly to Netherstorm. And you want to go up in here, and it's the big, big, big one. None of the floating ones, just the big ones, and that's the eye. So we're going to run through, pull all the things. Now, in order to kill the last boss, you don't need to kill any of the three bosses before, but I'll show you quickly how to kill them. Uh, one of them's going to be a pain because he does a buff that silences casters, but that's okay. Yeah. So we're gonna kill all the things. And does this guy have anything I want? I'll take cloth. Money. Money's always good. No. No. Okay. Alright, so the first boss is Alar. Um, so actually no, I'll be fine. I don't need to kill these guys. So Alar has a few phases and the first one involves uh it. Um it does goes to all the upper platforms and then when that's done um, he'll go to the I'm gonna call him he sorry he'll go to the ground and then uh, he'll kind of like dive bomb you so the faster you can kill him the better and he goes from platform to platform until he hits a I think until you kill him the first time then you have to kill him again so let's go She had to go all the way over there. So you can see I have the uh, maximum platform length, so he'll only spend about 30 seconds on each platform. And then he'll fly to the next one. Oh, I got bumped to the next platform, isn't that nice? That was not so nice. That's okay, because I can still kill it from down here. Okay. He's dead, and then he'll be reborn, so while he's doing that, I will kill him. While he's being busy being reborn, I will kill the ads.
So I dropped. Okay. Epic, epic, epic. No, I don't want any of that. Okay. So that's how you kill Alar. You run around the platforms, and if it takes you a while, she will eventually go to above the stairs, this platform, this platform, and then above these stairs, and then she'll. I think she keeps going around until you kill her. And every 30 seconds she will go. And then... I keep changing genders for this thing. Sorry. Um, and then afterwards, um, she'll go to the ground, and then she'll do her ground phase, and then every 30 seconds or whatever she'll dive bomb you. So, we will go to the solarium first, and then we'll run to the other one. So there's a lot of running in this dungeon, so um, if you have a movement speed increaser, um, I would highly suggest using that. Obviously killing trash is optional um if you're fighting there's a couple methods where you run throughout the rest of the throughout the rest of the raid in order to avoid um the crowd controls um obviously that i would suggest clearing the trash beforehand or if you're doing this at a lower level clearing the trash is never a bad idea um, but it's definitely not a requirement in order to successfully complete the, the raid So the solarium, um, you need you definitely need to kill the trash because as soon as you pull her, all of the trash will run and the scryers do a mind control. And if you're soloing this, um, essentially uh, makes everything stop fighting and you have to bring them back to full health and you have to fight them again. So yes, definitely kill all this trash. If you've got super high DPS, it's not as big of a deal. Um, but I always like to do it because of the mind controls. So, unless you're doing this with a lot of people, and then you should be fine. But who really has the time or energy to pull together a big group of people around this anymore, unless you have a really, really good guild. Also, today is 10 days till my wedding. That's more than slightly unnerving. What time is it? Almost time. Okay, I have to leave soon, so let's hope I finish this in time. <laughs> to drink quickly because I'm almost out of mana. And that'll get me a well-fed buff too. Yay, mastery. Good enough. Okay, here we go. So, I don't know if she has any special stuff. I usually kill her faster. I know she does a teleport thing where she flings you up into the air, so if you have some type of slow fall or levitate or something, I would recommend using it.
Oh yeah, and she does a split. Which, uh... Transforms her into stuff and... Yeah, it turns her into one of these guys. And, oh, look, she's dead. But the pet that she drops looks just like that thing that she just turned into, so that's good. Leather working pattern. Yeah. Or my can use that. And this really cool dagger drop, too. And which way are we going? We're going this way. No, we're not. We're going this way. Crap. Is it? No, no, we're going this way. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. And then now we run back and do the other boss. Now the other boss has, like I was saying earlier, the other boss has a interrupt silence thing. Eh, more like, no, it's not interrupt it's silence. Um, so you have to keep moving. So if you're melee, it's not as big of a deal because you're still hitting him fairly hard. Um, if you're a caster, you need to keep moving. So if you have any moves that allow you to move while casting, now is the time to use them. Um, use a lot of dots. Use as many um, instant casts as you can. Use any AoE attacks that you can. Um, he will spend some time casting slam, ground slam, something like that. Um, and that's when you can try and wait and do the ones that'll... Uh, you can try and cast ones, but you have to be careful because you only have almost literally a second and a half before uh, you'll get hit with that silencing arcane thing. You can see I'm stocking up shadow orbs because I want to stay away for that boss and I'm not very good with timing stuff so that I get the uh, I'm not very good with timing things so that I get the, uh, the orb off the shadow or death so I like to stock them up before a boss So this is the guy, Void Reaver. He also drops a little miniature pet. Oh, and I should say, the uh, Ashes of the Alar pet. Drops the uh, Phoenix Hawk Ashling. Of course, um, actually I forgot the, uh, I can't use Shadow Word, or I can't use a uh, Devouring Plague because it's a disease, I think, and he's immune to some stuff. Why does my phone keep buzzing? Hold on. Oh, okay. That's my fiance telling me something. So you see, 
I can't damage him. So I'm gonna use this, and this, and eventually he will do a what is it called? I'm looking for it, the pounding move. So if you keep running, there he does it. still got hit by the silence, but that's okay. I still managed to get a mind blast off, which is pretty good. So yeah, it's you you can time it so that you miss it, but you have to be very, very quick. I think actually what I will do is I will do this so that I have haste. And that'll increase my cast time. Yeah, so I got away. So yeah, you have a move that increases your cast time. That's when you're gonna want to move it. This one involves a lot of running. Again, as, as often as you can, you want to pull those, uh... Try and get the, uh... Longer cast ones off. Oh, I managed to get that to me. That's good. So, you see, we're, we're already at almost 50%. That's pretty good. He's almost in execute range. Continue this shortly just in case I do run out of space. Let's keep going. So, I killed him. That was kind of insane. Money. And a whole bunch of stuff I don't need. Okay. So, let's go kill Kyle Foss. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize I had such limited space left in that hard drive, so I'll have to do some finagling later. Anyway, so now we are going to kill Kael'thas, and like I said before, this is um, the caster way to do it, I guess. Um, 
I don't know if this applies for melee, and I don't know if this applies for um, ranged, basically. Um, but I'm going to show you how I do this as a caster. So, let's see how this goes. So this fight um, is difficult. I'm not going to say it's as hard as... Um... No, I, I actually I would put this up there with the Lady Vash fight. Lady Vash fight is not as complex, but it's still a humongous pain in the butt. Uh, it's Lady Vash from Serpent Shrine Cavern. But, um, yeah, I still would not prefer to do this fight. I'm mainly doing it A to show you and B, I want that damn mount. Um, Kale thus has a chance to drop the Ashes of Alar mount, which is Alar, the uh, Phoenix, the first boss we fought, the Phoenix, um, has a chance to drop the mount. Which is really pretty, so that's basically, that is the only reason that I run Tempest Keep and Kara, because I want the mount off the first boss in Kara Midnight. So, kill all the adds. Again, don't need to, but it makes life for you a little bit easier. You can always do this while you're waiting, because Kael'thas really makes them talk. But I, what I usually do is I kill two of them, and then um, as he's talking, I kill the third group. So, we'll do this. I'm just going to read off to me. Let's see. Okay, there. Power. So, he's going to talk for a while. Okay. So the first one you fight is Thaladred. And he walks very slowly. He's like the tank, essentially, but... Um, if you have gaze on you, it's a silence, so you just need to kill him quickly. Um, Lord Sanguinar ru will rush you. And I think he has a fear. Hurrian is a caster. Um... And she puts a bunch of uh, fire debuffs on you. And I think they're percentage based, so you want you generally want to kill her fairly quickly. And then he Master throws bombs. Uh, Torius throws bombs. So. Oh. And then phase two, he summons his weapons. Now, if you are a caster, there's kind of a semi-specific order. Um, you want to fight the phase shift ball work first because it doesn't interrupt, which will silence you, which is a humongous pain in the ass. And then after that, it doesn't so much matter. Just make sure that you kill as many of them quickly. You, you need to do this quickly um, because the next phase starts in a minute and you need to make sure you have time to loot the appropriate weapon. Um, so how this works is every weapon has a... Slowed. Um, every weapon has a, can be equipped as a legendary and it has an on-use effect that will help you in the upcoming fight. So as a caster, you're gonna want the Staff of Disintegration. It prevents, it protects you from... Uh, okay, there we go. So we want the it prevents you from, st protects you from stun, silence, and disorience. And the good news is if you're soloing this, um, you don't, you don't need to worry about Kael'thas' mind control. So equip it, then move it to your action bar. It's a good habit to get into because you'll need to do that for other weapons if you play this, do this on different classes. But you're going to do that, and then you're going to click it to get the buff, which in this case is the mental protection field. So 15 minutes, I am immune to stun, silence, and disorients. 
Um, and then we have to wait another 10 seconds, and he's going to summon his four little buddies. And there isn't really an order. You can kite because the one guy moves really slow. I recommend killing the female first. And I need to... But yeah, this guy does a knockback, so you can also kill him first. So yeah, he does a fear. But good news is it only lasts about four seconds and he doesn't do very long. So you can kill him first. Yeah, I change my mind every time I do this, which one I want to do first. Okay, and then now I'm going to move on to her. And then in two minutes, kill boss will pull. And then now we're going to kill him. And now we'll kill the Master Engineer. Oh, he's throwing, what, bombs at me. So yeah, he's stunning me, but because I have this buff on, it's not working. So, oh, and then the next phase will kick in as soon as you're done killing them, so you don't actually have to do it right away. And then this guy, because you don't have to worry about his mind control because you're doing it by yourself, um, he, what he will do is he will mind control anyone who's not, who doesn't have aggro. So, as long as you're doing this by yourself, you're fine, his mind control is mute. As you can see, I'm running out of mana, but my shadow friend will be up soon, and that'll be nice. Um, and the other thing is, if you if it takes you long enough, he will summon, uh, yeah, he'll summon eggs, and you need to kill them so that um, he does it. They'll if you let them sit long enough, they'll spawn phoenixes, and it. Uh, if you let them sit long enough. He'll spawn phoenixes. They'll spawn phoenixes. That is it's just a bunch of ads that you don't want to worry about. So I'm gonna get some mana back quickly. And then he gets all kind of creepy and terrified, and he breaks the room. And there's a lot of loud noises. And my phone still does it. That's great. Not unpopular today. And he comes down, down a little bit bigger and more terrifying. Next phase starts in three seconds, and then you just have to kill him. So he, his health doesn't shoot back up, which is nice. You just have to kill him, just like before. Oh yeah, and he likes to toss you up there. But the good news is if you're a caster, you can still reach him. Unlike the one in the other room, this one will actually drop you, so it's a good idea to have a slow ball or a levitate on you. And you're dead. Well, the last. And did I get the mount? Did I get the mount? Did I get the mount? I'll take the 12 gold. Oh, I got this, which I probably already have. No, nope, no mount for me. But that's okay. So that's how you fight. Kalefoss as a caster. Um, so yeah, hope you found that helpful, guys. Um, and we are at 99 subscribers, which means as soon as we get to 100, eh, you get to see my face. I'm not sure exactly how I feel about that, but I said I would, and so you'll get to see it. Um, now, I don't know what videos are going to be like um, in December, because I'm going on my honeymoon, but my plan is to still have videos uploaded and whatnot um, next week, Monday and Wednesday for sure, Friday we'll have to see. But yeah, anyway, like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.